Welcome back Guardians to another Destiny video and in this Destiny video I wanted to talk about the best shader that has came in Rise of Iron so far apart from maybe the raid shaders but this one is absolutely awesome in my opinion. It is the Banner Unbroken shader from the Gear 3 record book and we'll go through a little way that you can get it a little bit easier. I'm already rank 18 in the book but as you can see the actual little symbol of it has like a really really dark green grayish look and it doesn't look like much in terms of looking at the shader icon but when you equip this it looks awesome especially in bright areas like in the snow the cloak that i'm wearing for my hunter the iron lord cloak shines up this like prestigious green this like metallic greenish kind of look that you can only really say you're an iron lord while you're wearing it and then the rest of my character has like grays and camos with little hints of that prestigious green coming through and it does look absolutely awesome in my opinion and it works with a lot of different armors across the board. I have the Fogoff specific strike reward called the Mongrel Ogre's Grasps and the little um, symbols on them shine green. So this shader really goes well with it when you're seeing the shiny green cape and shiny green items that your character can be wearing. Now how do you get this item? Well you get it from the record box. So if you go into your menu and go to the progress page there is a record book on the top left. Press Y on it and as you can see I have rank 19. Well rank 18 going to rank 19 I should say and the shader drops at rank 18. That's why I wanted to make a video on this because there's a lot of people who probably don't have this shader yet or haven't inspected it. I haven't seen what it looks like and it's something great for you to aim for in getting all the quests and missions done that is in this book. Some of them you can kind of cheese a little bit and I'll get into that in just a little while but you know you get like complete Rise of Iron quest line you should get that automatically. Collect the Iron Lord artifacts that's kind of time gated so you have to wait until they all appear in the Iron Temple. We have Nightfall Strikes completed. I have seven out of five. So in the very first week, I done my three that I needed, one for each character, and then ran two more and had this one completed. But most people will be getting that completed this week. A lot of the main things that you need to get are like the raid ones, which I'll get into as I get there. Life of an Exotic, complete all the exotic quests in Rise of Iron. I'm waiting for the Fawn quest to appear, which is kind of annoying. It's kind of random. So, you know, there is challenges in this book that you can't just do straight away. One of the ones that I suggest you do as soon as possible is the 20 out of 20 Siva Crisis Strikes. It's incredibly boring, incredibly monotonous because it's normal mode strike with no burns or anything. So they can take quite long to kill bosses and such things. It can be boring. So things like the Metal and Flesh you'll complete through the raid quest line because that's what it is. And then we have the Plague Lands type of stuff. So you know, kill enemies in the Plague Lands, complete patrols. You can do that in Arkham Forge. You know, they come across very, very naturally, very, very easily. Using your keys in Arkham Forge to reopen it is probably what you need to do. Iron Lord Bounties, you'll get that done over time. So, you know, a lot of them you can't just do straight away. But with the ones that I have completed by kind of just doing and playing the game more and more often, you will get to rank 18 right now. So, onto the raid kind of thing. So, we've got this one here, Vault Shepherd. Discharge or deliver the voltage into the very start of the raid the very first encounter as you spawn into the raid you can do this on your own without having to even do the raid without even having to kill enemies so in the very start of the raid you have these white lights that you need to get collect four of them and then go and slam on one of the pillars you can repeat this and keep doing this regardless of the vault eater that takes away the charge you could just keep doing this over and over again so with the Siva charges thrown, I still haven't done that, but you'll get that if you're doing raids on top of raids. And you know, you just got all these ones that you'll get as you are going. There are two that are hidden, which I believe probably will come with the challenge mode or hard mode, but you don't need them to be able to get this shader. On top of that, the Crucible ones, very easy to do, not that difficult whatsoever. And then, you know, if you're lacking on a few, you'll get some Iron Banner rank ones when Iron Banner comes. And the Trials Passage, which starts this Friday, all you have to do is complete it. You don't have to get to the Lighthouse and you do that five times. So, you know, there's very 
easy ways to get to rank 18 and when you do you will get this shade as a banner unbroken and that's pretty awesome rank 20 is the ship and rank 22 is days of iron ornament which you're going to need quite a few of to be able to make your iron lord armor look awesome but the shade out in my opinion is the best looking shader so far that i have acquired that i have seen that isn't just straightforward to get like you know just having them drop randomly the um actual raid shaders look pretty cool as well but they're very vibrant red i feel like a lot of people are not really going to like them but this shader looks pretty awesome and i wanted to share it with you guys because i have access to it and if you haven't got access to it yet this is something to strive for because it, it looks incredible but anyway i've been easier thank you for watching but anyway, tell me what you think about this shader in the comments down below. Leave your ideas and thoughts on it. Do you think it looks amazing? Does it make you want to work on your record bot to get it? Remember that light goal that I set at the start of the video? Let's try and smash it completely. Let's double it. Let's triple it. But if you would like to hit the like button, I would really, truly appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I've been easy now, and you guys have been awesome. <laughs>